Well, kiddies, I'm afraid our designer hanger offer has expired. Would somebody please get Mr. De Laurenta out of here? Next up on the Home Chopping Network, it's time for the Crypt Keeper's Fashion Boutique. Today we're featuring my full line of Apre V death care products. We've got everything from face scream to mascara. Try some. It's the best thing you can do for demise. <laughs> or maybe I could interest you in tonight's special. It's a tasteless tidbit about a traveling cemetery plot salesman who's about to make a grave mistake. I call it death of some salesman. <laughs> Eb Jones, come on down. You're up already. What time is it? Almost 6 a.m. Hashling in time. Hashling. I told you last night I'm through with that goddamn coffee shop. I'm going with you, isn't that what we said? Well, there's been a little change of plans. What we said last night? Last night was last night. So you lied to me? No. You said you wanted to get out of this stinking little burg, and I sold you a way to do it for the night. But now it's morning, and the warranty's expired. Damn you. Oh, spare me the tears, okay, sweetheart? But you said you loved me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I said I loved you, and you dropped your little panties. It's called salesmanship. You must be Mrs. Jones. Uh, yes, I am. I'm Judd Campbell from the Restful Hills Memorial Park. You know you are exactly the way your husband said you are. Is he here? Well, no. Uh, he passed on a few days ago. The funeral was yesterday. I can't believe it. I, just last Monday I saw him. It's like he saw it coming. He did. He had cancer. Well, I know that, but Monday he puts a down payment on a new cemetery plot. And then suddenly... D did you say he put a down payment on a cemetery plot? $250 for both you and him. Oh, well, he didn't say anything about it to me. Well, he wanted it to be a surprise. He picked this spot right here. He wanted you to be among the first to enjoy eternal rest amidst all that beauty. Shame. He was so excited about the benefits package, too. Funeral expenses plus 10000 cash. He loved you so much. Ten thousand dollars? Yeah, I'll arrange for you to get a full refund when I get back to the office at the two hundred fifty dollar deposit. Oh, but um, isn't there some way that I could get the benefits? I don't see how. Your husband has already passed on. Well, what if I paid you the money? Oh, oh ma'am, that would be illegal. Oh, I don't see why. My husband intended to pay you the money. What if he'd already sent it? 
Now, look, I could pay you the money now, in cash, and who's to know when you got it? Uh. <laughs> oh, please. The funeral was so expensive, and Eb didn't leave me hardly a pig's whistle. Isn't there some way? How much did he owe you? Another $250. I don't know, I suppose if it were in cash. Oh, I'll get it for you. I'm afraid I... I only have $187, and that's all I got in the whole world. Isn't there some way? Mrs. Jones, you're such a nice lady. I'll find a way. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Can I help you? You must be Mrs. Comfrey. You know, you're exactly the way your husband said you were. He's a very lucky man. Mrs. who? Mrs. Comfrey? There's nobody here by that name. Well, well isn't this 2465 Maple Street? No. This here's Maple Drive. Maple Street is way across town. Oh, my mistake. End of the day, you know how it is. Young man. Are you selling something? As a matter of fact, because at Restful Hills, we believe that both you and your loved one should be able to rest in peace before as well as after. Oh, it sounds so nice. Now, I do have a lovely brochure that I'd like to... I'm sorry. I don't want Pa to miss this. Pa! <laughs> Where is that old goat? Where in tarnation are you? Hold your horses, Ma. We're out in the middle of digging. Oh, we got company. Mr. Campbell's a salesman, Pa. A salesman? Huh. Ain't that nice? <laughs> in the old days, traveling salesmen used to come by all the time. Of course, nowadays, everybody stays home, does their shopping on the TV. I don't know, but to me, it just ain't the same. No. Well, Set yourself. Show us what you got. I know what you mean. Buying things long distance, you know, you lose that human connection. Ain't that the truth? And when the product comes... You... Shut it, Ma. The young man don't give a damn what you think. Let him get down to business. I'll do just that, sir. At Restful Hills Memorial Park. That's some kind of cemetery? We call ourselves a memorial park. What we do is a whole new concept that tries to bring peace to your loved ones both before and after your demise. <laughs> For starters, we found a piece of property north side of town that will just knock your socks off. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it sure is. It looks like the perfect place to spend eternity. It does look restful, doesn't it? It's the kind of place the whole family will enjoy coming to to pay their last respects, and that in turn makes the process of mourning just plain easier on everyone. Now, isn't that a nice idea, Pa? When does the beforehand stuff come in? That's, that's very smart, sir. The beforehand part comes with a death benefits package. Now, for a small nominal fee, we pay at the time of demise full funeral expenses plus a death benefit of $10,000 cash. That way, you know your loved ones are going to be taken care of beforehand. How nominal? $500 buys everything for the both of you. $500, that's all? Of course, we do have the extended death benefit of $20,000, and that'll only cost you $750. $750 buys you $20,000? No. You're both covered, so we're talking $40,000. <coughs> well, 
We can't say no to that, can we? We'll do it. Great. I'll drop the paperwork. Of course we'll have to see it first. See? See what the cemetery plot looks like. We like to see a thing work before we buy it. Well, it, um, it looks pretty much like this. Can't buy nothing till we see it first. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna submit your paperwork with the payment, and I'm gonna come back tomorrow. I'm gonna take you there myself. How does that sound? Sure thing. I expect you let me and Ma to go downstairs and get you some money. You take cash? I prefer cash. It speeds up the process. Well, we won't be but a minute. You want some coffee or something? Yeah. Well, if you've been on the road all day, I expect you could use a little pick-me-up. <laughs> Come on now, Ma. We don't want to keep the young man. <laughs> Come in, Pa. We kill him now. I won't let you do it, Pa. Damn it, woman. I'm tired of you arguing with me. If I want him dead, he's dead, and that's all there is to it. Don't you raise your voice to me, old man, or I'll have your heart. Besides, it wouldn't be polite to kill him until he wakes up. Anyway, I think when Nona should have a look at him first. <laughs> Get off of it. He ain't gonna want her. <laughs> ain't nobody ever known his whole ugly goddamn life ever wanted her. I'd like her to be the judge of that. Hell, if she do want him, I don't. I don't want no goddamn salesman in the family. Nobody cares who you want in this family. Besides, only salesmen ever come to this place. And this one seemed especially nice. Oh, for Christ's sake. And if this is Winona's only chance at a little happiness, then I want to give it to her. Well, it ain't gonna happen, because he ain't gonna want her. Hey, you. Wake up. Wake up, damn it. Ah, ah. He's up. Please let me go. Why? So you can run up to the police, tell them all about us. No, I won't say anything to anybody. I don't care about who those other guys are. Well, they're salesmen like you. <laughs> like that guy what sold us the crummy microwave. Didn't work. And the vacuum and the color TV. <laughs> Wasn't no color TV till I fixed it. <laughs> now it's a color TV. Really? I wouldn't say anything to anybody. You can let me go. And why would I trust you? You're a salesman. And a salesman ain't nothing but a thief trying to sucker people out of their hard-earned money, making them buy things they neither want nor need. Well, we've been took one time too many. And if we have to kill every last goddamn salesman on the goddamn planet, so be it. Now, don't you get too excited, Pa. We ain't doing nothing till Winona sees him first. Uh, damn girls, nothing but trouble. Come along, Ma. Like that. Are you Winona? Winona is such a nice name. My, my mother's name was Winona, and she was very beautiful. You play that very well. Anyone ever tell you that? How, uh, how old are you? 
old enough to know a bunch of bullshit when I hear it. Why don't you come on over here where I can see you? Maybe I don't want you to see me. <laughs> I don't think that's the case at all. I think you want me to see you very much. You know, I hardly know you, Winona. But I can hear your loneliness. I know that loneliness. It sits on my shoulder and it pecks at my heart. Is that how you feel, Winona? You sure do talk, Purdy. Well, let's you and me have a talk then, face to face. Okay. Face to face. Oh, you are so beautiful. The last thing I am is beautiful. <laughs> what is beauty, anyway? But the Mona Lisa has nothing on you. What is that, um, that perfume you're wearing? Not wearing any. I ain't washed in a couple of weeks. That is so... earthy. I love it. This has never happened to me before. I have fallen head over heels in love with you. You don't love me? No, I do. I do. Just take these off and let me prove it. I don't have the keys. I need an even idea. You gotta let me prove it. If you don't let me prove it to you, I swear I'm gonna go crazy. Do you really think I'm like the moon, Lisa? this room. I hate this whole house. <laughs> you know, it's strange how I feel now. Giddy, like a kid. What are you doing? I want to see these love feelings. The kind of love I'm talking about, it's different. It's, it's deeper. Action's all I believe in. This love talk is very nice, but the body never lies. <laughs> Let's see how much you love me. I swear I love you. Isn't that good enough? You still love me? If you don't love me, I'll just have to give you back to power and let him deal with you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah. I didn't think you. Wait. <sighs> well, I'll be damned. I think you do love me. None of them did what you did, or like you did. You do love me, don't you? Like you said, the body never lies. 
question is, do you love me? I wish I love you. I ain't gonna let my daddy hurt huh? you if that's what you're worried about. Huh? I want to marry you. Huh? If we yeah. got married, you'd get my dowry, and they'd let you go, and we could run away and be happy together. I hate it here. Mom and Pa treat me so mean. Did you say dowry? Yeah. Huh. Pa's got it buried in the basement. It's the money from all those salesmen. It must be forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. Yes. Yes, let's... Let's get married. <laughs> Ma! Pa! I'm getting hitched! You really want to do this thing? Absolutely. I love your daughter. And I love him, pal. Let's get this started. Aren't we gonna have a preacher? Paul is a preacher. Do you, Judd Campbell, take my daughter, Winona Brackett, to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And do you, Winona, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? You bet I do, Paul. Let's have the ring, Ma. We'll place this ring on Winona's... Wait a minute, Pa. Ain't you gonna take these handcuffs off? He's marrying me. You think he's gonna spend the rest of his life walking around with these things on? She's right, Pa. If he's willing to marry her, it's the least you can do. Well, I guess. No, I ain't gonna. I'll marry him to you, but that's as far as it goes. It's just the way it is, Winona. I'm still gonna have to shoot him. He's a salesman. He can't be trusted. Damn you, Pa! This is the first oh. chance of happiness I got. And you will keep coming to kill that dog! Winona, quit princess. Winona! What are you doing, Winona? <laughs> Let me get that for you, darling. Let's go get that dolly. Wedding present for you, my love. Ah. Ugly bitch. Sure is a mighty nice cemetery plot. But I. But <laughs> the view ain't much. But I think he'll rest in peace just the same. Winona. 
You gonna pay your respects or what? I sure hope I can get this fake blood out of my dress. Hope you throw it in the new washing machine that other nice salesman brought us. <laughs> You lied to me, all of you. Lied? Oh, now, that ain't a nice thing to say. Besides, it weren't no lie at all. No, sir. It's called... <laughs> Salesmanship! Good old Judd. Just another satisfied ghost -timer. <laughs> I guess it's true what they say. The family that slays together stays together. <laughs> we come now to one of my favorite items. The amazing Crypt Keeper slash o -matic. It's more than just a knife. It peels, it cuts, makes fabulous french fries. It slices, it dices it. Ooh. 